Yes. Da -da -da -da. All right, Leo, and the first card in the position of environment for you for the month of April is... Oh. Okay, so we're feeling a bit drained. We have the Ace of Cups. The Ace of Cups is a great card. It can mean in the upright that you're falling in love. Mm -hmm. um, something brand new is being offered to you. Uh, which is of the heart. It's mm -hmm. emotional. However, we have this in the inverse. Uh, opening the month of April, I'm going to pass this over. Well, it's a uh, when if you if you look at the symbol, the cup is a symbol really of the heart, and when you're overflowing with love, um, this love becomes uh, a source of joy for yourself and a joy for others. But in the inverse, you're, you're, you're pulling that in instead of sharing it out. You're doing the opposite. You're sort of pulling the feelings and the emotions back in to you. And you aren't wearing your heart on your sleeve you're keeping close to your breast, they say. You're keeping your feelings close to your breast. For some reason, you don't want to, to, to let that um, flow out to the rest of your particular world environment, the people within your world environment. So there's a sort of contraction a pulling in of feelings. Uh, often this is self-protective. People do this when they feel a threat from the outside or they don't feel as safe and secure where they are. And so they don't want to share because if they share, then it's a vulnerability. They feel vulnerable. Mm -hmm. And so they are there is a, a contraction of that for whatever reason. Uh, you're not ready to let go yet. Maybe you've just found a new love. And at this stage in this relationship, you're not quite ready yet to be completely open-hearted. Or I always see this card as feeling drained. And feeling drained. Emotionally drained. Yes, and I, well, yes. Because it's interesting that, okay, so it's reversed. So was it offered and then it reversed? Or is it reversed and then it is offered? That's kind of the question. Yeah. yeah. So if it was offered and now it is in the reverse, for some reason, this situation is now draining you. This situation that had so inspired you and ignited your passions in the beginning has suddenly become not uh, a source of, of energy oh, wow. because those constant love texts and, you know, the, the first bout of love mm -hmm. is like a drug. Right, it's like a drug. So either you have been off the drug and you're mm -hmm. feeling drained <gasps> or someone who is on the drug is draining you right yeah but because it, it is like a drug a love is love is a drug well it feels like one. well they say that it lights up the same part of your brain that mm -hmm. that LSD does basically mm -hmm. um, and that's why when people break up they suffer yeah. greatly because they are actually like in withdrawal. Yeah, no more dopamine. Yeah. <laughs> right? Right, so yeah. you might be out of dopamine. Yes, all that dopamine is flowing out of your cup here. Yeah. Um, but what, what, what really could be, there's a, in, in, the, in the upright, there's a sort of a peace a harmony and a peace and reversed 
it can mean there's sort of a, a little bit of a turbulence. The waters are maybe flowing out too quickly. Um, maybe it's too fast. Maybe everything is happening too rapidly and you can't keep up, and which is why you feel kind of drained. Mm -hmm. Things are moving to uh, ahead of the natural development of the feelings. Mm -hmm. Something has turned this this uh, initial like mm -hmm. emotional like high mm -hmm. into a, a real bummer. Well, it for some. Again, it, it's, it's a bummer. It's it's, uh, it, it's just it can have a, a, a sort of a spectrum of meanings, mm -hmm. and from from that to simply disinterest, even uh, just a, a a waiting to see, not completely committing. You see? Yeah, that too. No, yeah. you don't want to commit your heart yet. Mm -hmm. And that would be if it was inverted before it was <laughs> right <laughs> or maybe or, you're flip-flopping or maybe you've met someone <laughs> and you're still not committed yeah. you know there are i was i was listening to that there are some people you meet and there's almost an immediate camaraderie mm -hmm. and there's other people you meet where there's almost a repulsion mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. so the these are are a uh, they belong in the spiritual realm. The whole, this whole phenomenon belongs in the spirit. You can't understand why. Mm -hmm. Now she's reading for single people and dogs. Yes, <laughs> but you, you really, you. There really, may be a repulsion. There may be a repulsion. That's true. Okay, you ready to All move right. on? Yeah, absolutely. We spent a lot of time on that card. <laughs> well, 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 and what do we have here, Ava? Well, there's your challenge. Announce that card, please. It's the devil upright. Did we not say in the recap that these little kitty cat friends of ours like to get the devil? <laughs> mm -hmm. You guys love the devil. Well, there you go. Um, power struggle, power, power struggle. Yeah, the the. No wonder it's reversed. Then you see. Yeah. So you, you're you're not. You're you're pulling back. You're pulling back. Yes. You're pulling back because, your challenge, is. To, to get a hold of yourself. <laughs> to, yes, to get a hold of yourself and to, well, what the, to take the chains off, um, because. This relationship or addiction or addiction to the relationship uh, you can you can have a relationship with a drug you can have a relationship with a person you can have a relationship with your career but the relationship is not balanced you can have a relationship with your iphone that will not stay quiet and this is really the devil right here uh so quiet the devil would you i'm trying <laughs> and uh, <clears throat> let me bury it under a pillow bury pile <laughs> There we go. It's buried under a pillow pile. Our smartphones are too smart for us. Yes, we okay. don't even know how to turn them off anymore. So. so you're addicted to a high. Okay, I'm going to say a high because we've got the Ace of Cups. And what is the Ace of Cups? It's a high. All right. So reversed, it tells us that this is a high that is negative. That's what I'm saying. Well, it's, it, it's worthwhile to speak a little bit to it from that, the angle of that wonderful study that I read about uh, in which people are actually attracted to um, perpetrators of abuse. If that abuser, even if it's just pure abuse, but if that abuser punctuates his abuse with kindness. So when your abuser is both kind and abusive, it becomes even more addictive. Like the dogs in the backyard. <laughs> Cut. I can't take it in. I'm going to do a black Irish guy. 
but no, I'm gonna date. I'm gonna date like a black black man. I, I hear Not it all the time. <laughs> I'm, I'm black. You're a white black man. Black, no. black people tell me it all the time. Like you're black. All right. Okay. Let's go. All right, black man. Pick it up. Is it going? We're rolling. We're rolling. Back to the devil. Back to the devil. All right. So in the position so yes, of challenge, it's about um, about contending with your abuser. Yes. Or the or abusing yourself. Yes. Which. Uh, what is that? There's a certain amount of darkness that goes along with this card because this also has to do with the dark, the dark recesses of the your own soul. psyche. Yes. Yeah, your own psyche. Yeah. So it's a it's about uh, dealing with those parts of your psyche that you've relegated to the subconscious. Right, and it is also the least spiritual card obviously <laughs> it is the mo wow. it's steeped in materialism i don't happen to believe in the devil no no, no i'm or, saying or it's evil, steeped but... in materialism oh, but and the, that yeah. is what this is because this is well every yeah. sign when we talk about this has a That's major right. arcana card that coincides with us and, and this would be capricorn right which uh capricorn is represented by the devil because capricorn is supposedly the most Material, materials uh, of all of the, the yeah, signs. materialistic sign. Yeah, which isn't a bad thing. Well, yes, it is for a bad Capricorn. Thing. Well, it is. It is because that's their that's their lesson in this life. Yes, but it's they also, either they, because they're so good. But it's their strength. Too. It's their strength. They're so good in the material world. Yes, they're comfortable in. They're they're the most comfortable in the earth experience. Mm -hmm. This earth. Uh, uh, when they reincarnate as a Capricorn, they're the ones who usually um, are born prematurely. Oh, really? Yeah, because they are eager to get their hands involved in it. So they make the, the, the they're the builders, the architects, the designers. They 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 really have a a, a feel for this plane mm -hmm. of existence. Right. They're they're like the Wall Street. Guys, I always yeah. think of Leonardo DiCaprio um, and the Wolf of Wall Street. I right. mean, he was like a perfect Capricorn because he it's was. all about strategy, investing, material, and they're like this things. Which, but that's their that's their lesson mm -hmm. is that they're so good at it. That's where they're also weak. Uh, they're weak because they are so magnetized by that that they forget completely that they're spiritual beings mm -hmm. and so that's your challenge yeah that's your challenge is to remember who you are and to live beyond the things the that change that, of, that chains of the material world and the pleasures therein and, and the pleasures therein and to um, appreciate who you are as a spiritual being mm -hmm. And to live above the oh the dictates of of profit and loss, or your own carnal desires, or your own carnal desires. So you've got quite a challenge there. Yeah, there you there you go. Just in April though. Just in April. So far, let's see. So far, let's see. Oh my goodness, Leo, Leo, Leo. Oh look at this. Yeah. Okay. So in the position of the unexpected, we have the wheel of fortune, and. That is great because unexpectedly you're going to see um, an upward uh, feel. You're going to feel an upward sort of momentum um, going on, and things are going to sort of change for you mid month. Um, maybe there's. And this is kind of interesting on the heels of the devil, but and we're speaking to materialism, so you could have a change in fortune. Uh, you may see uh, that um, things are becoming, um, well, let's just say in your favor. Things are going in your favor. Um, and that perhaps has something to do with this, this cup. Um, because maybe you're not handling it well 
um, we don't always handle our luck well, and that's kind of what I got. What do you okay. have? Well, you know, it's a great there, card. Certainly, it, it can often say your luck is up. Your 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 fortune is good. But the wheel Suddenly, is turning. Right. It's about change. Um, but you know, when I'm looking at the card, for some reason, what I'm seeing, if you've noticed these. Um, the ecclesiastical uh, symbols, right? Well, they're all reading books. Have you ever noticed that? Look at them. They're right. all reading. Because it's from the Revelation of John. Well, supposedly. the reading is, I believe, that you find unexpectedly uh, some instruction, some guidance, hmm. some input from your research, from your, from what you've been, uh, uh, from 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 the way that the, that you've been uh, moving through your situation, you have you have garnered information right. that helps lift you up out of uh, the chains of the devil. Hmm. That there's there's some sort of ecclesiastical. It could be ecclesiastical, it or it, yeah, well, yes, but not strictly. Literally, speaking. it's any kind of scriptural mm -hmm. guidance. Hmm. So you get guidance either from something you've read, or somebody who is giving you. Um, uh, spiritual upliftment and whether you get that from your books or whether you get that from some place in your world it's it's contributing to a revolution because mm -hmm. that's what the wheel is it's revolving it's a revolution right it's almost like cinderella where the clock strikes midnight and the devil's out and the devil's out and, and the wheel is in and it's in the upright and that's right and so from some source, whether it comes from literature, uh, from a deeper understanding of something, uh, from just some some revelation, some revelation. Yeah, it's, it's like the clock strikes twelve. Right, and then then you move forward, mm -hmm. and you you're brought out from this circumstance. Right, right. Let's see how it ends. Da, 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 da. <laughs> We're spooked. Uh -oh. <laughs> Look at that. Three major arcana cards in a row. Look at that. Wow. You have the moon upright. I like that, though. That's a card of reflection. Yeah. That's yeah. a really good card because, well, I mean, the moon can be uh, a lot of things. Let's just start with that, mm -hmm. as can all the major arcana cards mean a lot of different things. But moving out of this devil mm -hmm. in the position of challenge, this sort of carnal impulse to just sort of please yourself into um, this deep reflection and uh, this this uh, sort of pulling back which we have here mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so um, there's this sense of um, uh, going inward mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and doing some really uh, deep work um, which Often, when this card comes up, it can speak to dreaming. Um, it can speak to that really deep uh, stuff that uh, you know we resolve while we're asleep. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, sleep is about that too. It's a psychological healing that takes place when you sleep. That's why if you don't sleep well, you're actually depriving yourself of that therapy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And which is why you need sleep. And it's it's yeah, it's hard work it's sometimes hard work. sleeping. <laughs> it can be if you yeah. ever really try and remember your dreams, oh, yes. which is a might be a good thing for Leo yes, to do. Try to remember what you're dreaming about because there's a lot of information there. Exactly. That's, that's right. There's information there. Something on a subconscious level that you're not dealing with. Um, is that may have you 
in this challenge position. Yeah, um, of, of either succumbing to self-medication, self-medicating, or this power struggle um, that you're dealing with. This draining, dra which is draining you. Mm -hmm. um, at the end, you see the moon puts light on the subconscious. It's a reflection. It's yes. Yeah, so you're as above, so below. So that you you can repress whatever you want to repress psychologically, mm -hmm. but it never goes away. Well, that's why they call it lunacy. Yeah, because if you don't deal with things on a conscious and rational level, then they play havoc with your uh, um, mental well-being. So this is about reflecting on those areas that you haven't dealt with completely, that you pushed, pushed, you don't want to deal with it right now. I, mm -hmm. I don't want to think about that. Uh, I'll, I'll deal with that next month. Right. But you're dealing with it this month. But this is a great card because after the moon comes the sun and the wheels in the upright. And so mm -hmm. if this dream work is accomplished, right. the next thing you know, you're going to feel invigorated. You're going to right. feel a new sense of vitality. Right. Yes. Exactly. Yes. Exactly. So we've got exactly this work treated. to do. Right. But that's a wonderful thing. So it's also a uh, very moody card because the the moon is changeable. So you might be a little bit moody at the end of the month too, if you notice that. That's okay. Mm -hmm. um, so which this speaks to as well. Yes. Yes. You're gonna be a little grumpy this month. So <laughs> warn your family, your spouse, your friends. And your yeah, single and people and your dog. <laughs> this, the dog is howling at the moon. Yes, exactly. All right. Thanks again. So thank you for joining us, um, dear, dear Leo, for your uh, April forecast. Um, you have a few challenges, but things are looking up, definitely looking up for you. So thank you very much. And come and join us next month, May. Yes, April, May. <laughs> can we dance around the maple? Oh, yeah. Can we make, can we make one? Let's make the maple. All right. Well, thank you. Consistency, come on and say, oh, 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 o